just now talk about the population decline. So coming to 1962, so what happened basically is that they ha- had a mine pit, like this big hole in the ground, and they used to dump garbage yeah. into that hole. Landfill. And, yeah. yeah, landfill. And that got, on, got so much out of control that they were like, we need to get rid of this. So what they did was that they set it ablaze. Yeah, it's like an easy solution to, to get rid of your garbage. Just burn yeah. it. It's like instead of calling the firefighters to put out a fire, they call, they call the firefighters to put things on but fire. But did they actually call the firefighters to put that fire? I'm not sure. I don't know. Yeah, I'm not sure if it was the firefighters there, but yeah, they put it on fire. And you're like, okay, they, they put a fire on garbage and it started burning, you know, how, 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 what does that, what did that cause? Yeah. So what happened? Yeah, so they they basically put the the garbage on fire, and initially what they were supposed to do is they were supposed to seal the coal seams which are underneath the the surface. Yeah, and they they thought they had properly sealed all of those, but turns out they didn't. Mm-hmm. And the f- when when they put out the fire, they thought that you know the fire was basically ex- extinguished at that point, but mm-hmm. the the fire had actually seeped through the ground and in- into the coal seams. Yeah, and the fire started spreading underground. So what started happening was people within a few days started noticing that there was like smoke and, you know, the ground kind of was like distorted Mm -hmm. and they were wondering why that was happening. And turns out it was because of that, you know, huge fire that they they started in the, in the landfill. Yeah. So basically when they put fire on that landfill, the fire went down, 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 it reached to the, you know, bottom of the pit. And then, some of the coal seams like there were cracks that were open and then it went through there and then the fire start, started burning all of the coal and all of the mining tunnels under the city okay so they the called fire Central company? a fire company yeah what so is it was that? like a, i guess it was like a company that was like responsible for like things setting uh, things on fire maybe or yeah because i think yeah when i did the research it said that they were just they were used to setting trash on fire yeah, it was kind exactly. of a regular thing. Right, it was a regular thing back <laughs> in the day. Like there was no proper proper like disposal mechanism. It was just like let's let's put just it on fire. It. Yeah. yeah. And even nowadays, I know uh Centralia actually has a pretty big uh garbage disposal issue. A lot of, you know, tourists come there and they, they just, they just throw, their, throw trash. their trash everywhere. Well, and, yeah, it was basically the easy way out, you know, because yeah, managing waste can be complicated. You need to know how to sort yeah. it, where it goes. It's a huge like, in- industry, right? I mean, it's not just like anyone could do it. Like there's a just, yeah, huge waste management companies that take care of that and handle that. Yeah, of course. Um, any major city needs that, but yeah, they decided to put it on fire. So then the fire, you know, spread through the cracks and then all the mining tunnels started coming on fire. And uh, yeah, the temperature that it reached, 900 Fahrenheit in yeah. some parts of the city, mm-hmm. which, you know, for us uh, metric uh, users is, uh, what was it? 482 Celsius. 482 Celsius, yeah, that's that's, that's pretty bad. crazy. <laughs> yeah. Here it gets 30, 30 degrees Celsius, which is about 100 Fahrenheit, and it's already yeah. like, oh, mm. <laughs> too much. Like, yeah, boiling water is like 100 Celsius. Yeah, exactly. So if you think about how hot the ground was, <laughs> Ooh, like yeah. four times that temperature, essentially. I mean, yeah, I can't blame, you know, for the people living... Uh, leaving the city. So yeah, so what happened? So they were like a couple of thousand people. Yeah, so then- initially there were 1,200 people living there in the early 1800s. And now we're down to four people living there. So that's like basically <laughs> so like one family. Yeah, yeah, that's the thing also. Like are those four people independent or are they kind of- uh, Yeah, if you guys live in Centralia and you you know, you know see this video or this podcast, just let us know if you guys live all in one house or- <laughs> you Well, are you talking about like the four people yeah. that might be living there? <laughs> Maybe by an off chance they'll a- see this anyone podcast. Anyone who sees this podcast who's from Centralia- I mean, if yeah, you hit leave us a up. comment. You'll come on the podcast. Yeah, you'll definitely, <laughs> you know, we would love to hear it from an actual person who lived in Centralia because, yeah, the city. Um, yeah, so then, yeah, after the uh, 1960s, it just started going down because people started, yeah, started going out of the city. evacuating the city. Because it was becoming dangerous, you know, the smokes, mm. the heat, uh, the toxic yeah. air. Um, yeah, so it's, it's pretty crazy to think that, you know, there's... Usually you, you hear about these like ghost towns in movies or something, yeah. but now it's like a real life, almost like ghost town. Yeah. It's like, and like, it's like a, crazy to think about. you know, big country like the U.S. And it's not like, you know, the town was bombed 
or there was war yeah or some catastrophe like a huge mm-hmm. catastrophe it was like a slow burning no pun intended, no pun intended <laughs> yeah. yeah um and i like uh this quote here there was a writer um a journalist from the 1980s who wrote in the people's magazine he was like even the dead cannot rest in peace that's he, nuts he's like graves in the town's two cemeteries are believed to have dropped into the abyss of fire that rages below them mm-hmm. so, yeah that's that's wild so that's crazy so like cemeteries so so what is he saying so does he mean like so he's saying that like the dead that are basically resting like under in the ground <laughs> they're they burning. can't rest because they're burning <laughs> <laughs> oh my god that's, that's like uh nuts morbid. to think about yeah it's so like yeah, even the dead. So they the were, I guess, literally burning. Then yeah, they are. Yeah, wow. I, I think I think I saw somewhere that they they saw like some of the remains of like you know dead bodies getting completely like disintegrated and all. Oh yeah, all decom- for Centralia. Yeah. yeah. Um. So it's it's pretty crazy to think about you know even even the dead can't rest.